In the kitchen cooking up with Nisha J. Eh, eh, cooking up with Nisha J. In the kitchen cooking up with Nisha J. Full for thought, full for thought, get your fix today. Hey, thank you for subscribing to the queen of recipes, Nisha J. Hey everybody, guess what? Nisha J is back and black. No, <laughs> back with another video. We're gonna fry some chicken. I have just had some chicken on my mind, and so I'm gonna fry a few pieces. I don't normally fry a lot of my food anymore, but today that's what we're gonna do. So I have four thighs of the choice. My choice today, thighs. Thighs are harder to cook because they have to cook on the bone. And a lot of times if you don't do it right, it will be raw. And, and you don't want it to be burnt and raw. So you can't cook it too high. You got to cook it at enough temperature so that it can cook all the way through without burning it. So that's going to be the objective today. I want a nice piece of chicken with a brown, golden brown crust. Let's see if we can do that. So I'm going to prep my flour. I'm going to add flour into this Ziploc bag. Put a couple of... I only see people add um, baking soda, or excuse me, baking powder in their flour when they fry. I'm gonna try a little bit. Okay. I think it's baking powder that they add. If not, that's what we got. <laughs> All right, so. Okay, so I'm just gonna Okay, I've already seasoned my, my chicken. I have um, <coughs> onion powder, a little garlic salt, black pepper, a little spicy garlic, and a little Cajun. So in my batter, I'm going to put a little of the spicy Cajun, or excuse me, Spicy garlic. I'm going to add a little bit of the Cajun. I don't want to add too much of the Cajun because I know the Cajun is going to be a lot more of a, it could have like a saltier taste. And then I'm going to put, um, <coughs> I'm gonna put a little garlic powder since I have garlic salt already on it the actual meat and we'll put a little garlic powder in my batter <coughs> oh man the seasonings really get my nostrils and I always like to add a little curry in my batter All right. 
um, oil is heating. I'm gonna turn it all the way up. Turn my fan on. Did it turn on? Turn on low. Okay, so we're gonna let this heat up a little bit. I don't even have a thermometer. That's what I need to invest in is a thermometer for the oil because you want your oil to be closer to like three, at least 300 plus, you know, so that it doesn't cool down once the meat hits the pan. So I'm going to try to have to, I'm going to have to guesstimate when to start um, adding the meat. So, I'm thinking I might put two pieces in at a time, or maybe three. I might be able to do three. Yeah, I need to invest in the thermometer. So anyway, y'all, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. Get your girl on the map and let's put our meat in there. Got a lot of seasoning still in there. So funny I've been watching um, African movies or TV shows some movies some TV shows and I tell you they've been kind of interesting there'd be some evil you think our American TV shows Ooh. some African uh, shows is off the hook some of their acting is a little over the top. Over the top. Overkill, honey. They be doing too much. But some shows are better than others. That's my new thing. African. I should say a lot of foreign movies. Doesn't have to always be African, but lately it's been mostly African movies. Indian movies. Netflix. I kind of like to shake off all of the excess. Um, oil, I mean oil, the excess flour, and I think I'm going to start with it um, skinned down, so I can get a crispy, um, get a crispy skin on it. And I have my fire, I always say my fire, my um, eye on five. It's kind of hard to tell with um, electric stoves. It really is. It's hard to kind of gauge the temperature. Might be 
I'm gonna, you know, it's like watching paint dry. This is what I feel like I'm doing right now. This is hard to take your time and let this heat up. But anyway, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get it nice and hot. So that this chicken fries up pretty well. Feels like it's hot. Okay, I'm gonna try it, y'all. Man, I didn't think this was gonna take up the whole pan. But shoot, only put one piece of chicken in there and the whole pan is pretty much taken up. And I don't want to crowd the pan. But at least most all of it is covered. Okay, that's frying pretty well. A lot of times you can tell chicken is done when it floats. I know that's a lot of the times with like um, chicken wings. It's not all the way covered, just this little bit of the top is kind of hanging out. Wish I could have got two pieces in there. I think I could have, but it's just the skin is kind of thick. Or not kind of thick, but kind of spread out. covered up the whole the whole uh, thigh Remember, like I said, with the thigh, you got to make sure you don't cook it too fast because you take it out and you'll have like a raw um, piece of meat. So you got to let it kind of cook on a decent temperature, like where it's not too hot, not too, too low. Let those two kind of um, cook in the oil, and we'll be back. 
All right, so we got, and I'm kind of looking at the bone. I can see a lot of the, of the bone area, the meat is, or the uh, blood on the meat is kind of burning off. This one is a small piece. And I can see the bone poking out of there. So I'm going to take that one out. Everybody know, I hate an overcooked piece of meat. <laughs> This one was the first one I put in. And I'm gonna give it a few more minutes. Then I'm gonna take that one off. Gonna turn it over. Let it cook on the bone. I just hate chicken when it's hard and dry. That's one of the reasons why I don't like to cook breast. Because a breast is either cooked well and it's going to taste really good or you can overcook it and it's just going to ruin your, 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 your ever wanting to eat a, a breast again. That's just the way it is. That's the same thing with like pork. You can either cook it where it's tender juicy or you can overcook it, cook it and it tastes like wood. <laughs> In other words, if you ever got a splinter and then see how stiff and dry it is and that's how meat can be. Just like that. And who wants to eat that? Not me. <laughs> Not me, honey. But you do have to make sure you're, you cook it all the way through because it will, it will be raw in the inside if you don't. Okay, we're going to put our last piece in it. And these last pieces are not as big as the first one I put in there. And looking at it, it looks like it is done. Now, flour everywhere. Now, this is my flour bag. I'm going to throw this away. This is chicken. I do not reuse it. I do not reuse flour if I made chicken. Fish either. Fish batter, throw that in the garbage. The oil, throw it away. But I did learn something. This one lady was cooking, well this is while she was cooking the, you know, she had a big batch of fried chicken, fried chicken pieces and what she did was, because you know chicken leaves all that um, flour dripping on the bottom of the pan. What she did was is that she strained it once she did a few batches and then started cooking more. And I, you know, I never thought about doing that when I was making more than, you know, like a couple of batches of fried chicken or whatever. Which makes sense, because then it takes away from your chicken, the second batch is being like, getting dark and brown, because all the stuff that was in the pan right before, you know, so, if I ever do any large batches, that's what my goal is. I will strain it just to keep that batch from tasting and 
looking burnt or dark because the, the oil is starting to get dirty. So, FYI, FYI, uh-oh, FYI, so we're going to let that cool off, we're going to let these cook a few more minutes, I flipped them over, they kind of, you know, because they're starting to cook, so they're kind of um, lifting off of, from under the uh, oil. So that's letting me know that, that we're probably getting close to done. Because once it does that, it's letting me know we got that bone. We got that meat cooking on the bone, you know. And I just don't want it to, to burn. But we want the meat to cook all the way through. Okay, so we'll be back. All right, y'all. Look at the finished pieces. Now that's some golden brown chicken, y'all. KFC ain't got nothing on me. All right, look at that, look at that. Now that is hot and it looks juicy. Let me break off a piece of this skin. Okay. I'm not going to complain. The skin is nice and crisp. It looks kind of good. And it tastes really good, the crispy skin. That's my main thing about chicken is the skin. And that's the part that you're not supposed to enjoy. But if you don't do it often, why not, right? Is that what they say? As long as you don't eat it all the time. So, Get a picture of that. Looking good. All right, you guys, make sure you subscribe to the channel Nisha J. Cooking with Nisha J. All right. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Get your girl on the map. All right. Bye.